The National Cohesion and Integration Commission, or NCIC, was formed to herald a new era for Kenya to create a country free from hate, discrimination, and violence. Well, 15 years since it was established, questions over whether the commission has fully executed its mandate still linger. The country is experiencing a resurgence of violence occasioned by the anti-government protests, while well, this coming against the backdrop of a high level of hateful utterances intoxicating the political space. The commission has been sharply criticized by those who accuse it of a lackluster response to hate speech and those who threaten national cohesion. Safina Cheng Oma spoke to the vice chairperson of the commission, Wamboy Nyutu, and brings us the story. This has been the situation in the country since the Azimio La Umoja coalition launched its anti-government protests. <laughs> protests that have resulted in loss of lives, injuries and destruction of property. The chaos in the country are expected to offer an opportunity for the National Cohesion and Integration Commission to demonstrate leadership. The commission, which was established after the 2007-2008 post-election violence, was expected to inculcate a culture of tolerance, encourage people to embrace diversity and avoid all forms of hate speech, discrimination and violence. And CIC instead has been accused of being a toothless commission that has been unable to tame hate mongers, inciters and those who threaten national cohesion. The lack of successful prosecutions of incitement cases has been concerning. I wish NCIC had the power to do investigations on our own without help from DCI. I wish we had the power to prosecute on our own without relying on the office of the DPP. I wish we could even have our own tribunal that tries these people. At that point, I think it would be good to blame us that we have not done enough. According to Wambo Inutu, the commission's vice chairperson, the inertia is also occasioned by a lacuna in law that fails to offer proportionate punishment for offenders. The judge can decide to, to, to give a small fine or uh, a jail term of less than six months or whatever. But if the law explicitly provides for a certain punishment for this, then it will be better and also it will serve as a deterrence. The commission pegs its hope on the National Cohesion and Peace Building Bill of 2021, which seeks to repeal the National Cohesion and Integration Commission Act, in effect giving it more powers. A bill, she says, is still dragging in parliament. We are under the mercy of parliament and we are not sure or we don't know whether they will be able to find our recommendations uh, worthy to be passed as, as an amendment of our act. But these uh, reforms that we have asked for are the only ones that can help NCIC have the teeth that Kenyans always ask. Part of the tougher penalties being sought by NCIC include a jail term of over five years for offenders of hate speech, However, the practicability of this proposal remains in question as it comes at a time when the commission has also been put on the spot for failing to crack the whip on high-profile personalities spewing hate. We have recommended prosecutions for people who are even cabinet secretaries, you know, for people who are leaders in government, for people who are leaders in parliament, you know. So it's not that NCIC does not look at the big fish, we do. In fact, currently we have summons for the right honorable Raila Odinga. Newto says that the current state of the nation is creating unnecessary tension that if not well managed, could plunge the country into chaos. She says that NCIC has launched a process to midwife a truce between President William Ruto and Azimio leader Raila Odinga. Unless they speak to each other, Kenya will continue being in the situation that we are in. Uh, we will continue losing lives. We will continue losing uh, money. Before last year's general election, the two leaders, then presidential candidates, signed the Leadership and Peace Pledge by Mkenya Daima and NCSC 
a political decency and peace charter that binds the candidates, political parties and supporters to peaceful electioneering and accountable leadership before, during and after the elections. And as the drumbeats of war continue to get louder, it is the hope of Kenyans that this was not just pen being put on paper, but a commitment that they are willing to live up to. Safin Aching Oma, Citizen TV.